Hello, my name is Antonia Grantham. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with Miriam for about 11 months now. I can say that where I am and my mental health is complete 180 from where I was this time last year. I know I was angry. Um, I was lashing out at everyone around me. It was not only affecting my relationships, um, personally, but at work as well. I was tired of being who I was becoming. I was tired of being angry. I was tired of being that person and I wanted to change. So I kept hearing people talking about therapy on social media, um, everywhere. So I kind of felt that I needed to try it again, found Miriam. Um, I do have to say from the first session that I had with her, I was super nervous going into it. I honestly was very skeptical based off of my last couple of tries with therapy. Um, I do have to say the first meeting, within the first five minutes of meeting her and her kind of um, letting me know a little bit about her made me feel so calm um, and she was very peaceful and felt like you could trust her which trust honestly for me is really huge is something that I'm still struggling with today um, I really don't trust anyone um, with anything um, half of my friends that I do have right now don't even know half of the stuff that I've been through in my life, neither does my family. Um, so feeling supported for the very first time in life actually changed how I looked at life. Um, she holds you accountable throughout your time with her in each session and that's something that I needed. Um, was support and accountability because 95% of the time I don't even hold myself accountable for anything. Um, the tools that she gives also not only help in the situations that we were dealing with um, and that she was helping me get through, but I could also go back to those and use them going forward in life. Um, because it wasn't just for the situations that I needed to fix. Um, and honestly, I can say my mental health right now is complete 180. Change and difference in how I see things, how I handle things, how I do things. Um, and it's all because of the work that not only I've done, but she's helped me do. Um, I definitely recommend her to all of my friends when I talk about therapy and they ask about it. Um, I'm like, here's her number, call her. Um, I definitely would recommend her to anyone who is lost, who doesn't have support, um, who's lost. I feel like she is comforting. Um, the support that she gives you in not only each session, but if you need to reach out to her um, at any point during the week before your next session, um, you can always reach out to her via email and she honestly gets back to you by the end of the day, if not sooner than when you have emailed her, which I love because sometimes you're in moments where you're either doing a worksheet that she's given you or you just need extra support. Um, she's always there. And the fact that I can trust that if I have a question that I can answer her, that she'll answer. Um, and honestly, in this journey of you doing therapy, you kind of need someone you can trust in that will support you. And for the first time, um, I feel that. 
ever in my life. Um, and in this journey of changing in therapy, you really need someone who's understanding, who doesn't judge you, um, to kind of help you through it because this change is difficult. It's hard. Um, you have to look at every single part of you and acknowledge even the ugly because we all have some part of ugly in us that we necessarily don't like or don't care for um and that is huge because in therapy when you're stripping down everything that you've been through and trying to get through them you have to live everything and if you don't have that support system around you or people that you can trust she's very trustworthy and just warming and welcoming and honestly I would and I do um, recommend her to anyone and everyone that I do talk to um, because I feel like her approach at least I know most of the people around me love to see it and actually have something that is physical because everything is mental and you can't really see what's happening up here um so I feel like that really helps as well going through your journey um but I do appreciate the fact that she chose the path that she did um to help people like me get through their issues um and I'm very appreciative so I wanted to make this video to share my experience about Miriam Matthews she is my therapist and a lot of people that follow me have seen the growth but I give her credit for that I know that I had to do the work and if she was here right now she would say something like give yourself credit congratulate yourself which I do <laughs> but I do have to say I have to give credit what credit is due because this woman right here changed my life for the better and people think that I'm being dramatic when I say that but they don't know the day that I called her she saved my life with her consultation alone any other person that I've called in the past for consultation, I always get redirected to either an automatic you know, message or a receptionist who really didn't have the skills or understanding of like the distress I was under. So this was the first time I had an experience with like a real person that cared and did not hang up until I was good, until I calmed down. And I'll never forget that day. I called her, I was sitting in my car and I called her crying and she was, she was just so patient and her voice was just so calm and so from then I knew I was like look this is gonna this is gonna be my therapist I don't care what I gotta do she is gonna be my therapist so we made an appointment for the following week and from then on she has given me skills to use throughout my life she gave me exercises to do and she challenged me for the better it was all about support and accountability something that I've never had from a therapist before usually they just throw medicine at me so this was different because I told her, I don't want to mask the pain. I want to work through these challenges. And that's exactly what we did together. And those exercises, I still use them to this day. When I'm going through something, I refer back to my journal, my notes, and I just go in and I use the skills that she's given me. And she was always supportive. Even when we would have our sessions and there were times where I, was, I would explain something and I would have this negative self-talk about myself, she was like, no ma'am. We're not, we're not doing that. She's like, you're not this, you're not that, you are this. And she was just give me that reassurance and remind me of my potential. Whew, I'm trying not to cry because she spoke so much life into me and she always held me accountable for my actions and my words. And she did not, she, she just doesn't play about what you say about yourself, that negative self-talk, she does not believe in that. So I really appreciate the fact that she would challenge me for the better and not only just, you know, give me affirmations, but she would have me say the affirmations after her. And if I didn't sound like I believed it, she would have me say it again. <laughs> and it was awkward at first, but later on in the sessions, it became a part of me. Like saying the affirmations just became a part of me and it's a part of my daily life today. So that support and accountability 
has taken me to new heights and I really do appreciate her for that. So anytime someone asks me, who's your therapist? Like, who do you go to, girl? Tell me about this. I always tell them, Marion Matthews, you want the link, you want the number, girl, get in there because she will challenge you for the better and she will have you working through some stuff that's gonna make you uncomfortable, but that is part of the process. And then these skills and these exercises that she's giving you, you can always use them in the future because life will always have challenges. That's not going away but we can learn to work through them and that is the most important part of therapy for me this was the best experience i ever had she is my therapist till this day but she has given me the skills to the point where i don't have to go to her every week anymore and so i'm i feel like that is where you see that therapy really works and so i appreciate miriam i always refer people to her she's the best she's literally the best All right, everyone, I want you to put your hand right on your heart. Yes, put your hand on your heart, yeah. And feel your heartbeat. You have a heartbeat and it's beating for your life, okay? You woke up because you have purpose. All right, how many people have struggled to love themselves or have struggled with low self-esteem? Yes, yes. Are you concerned about other people's opinions of you instead of your own uh, your own opinion? Do you often neglect yourself or self-care? Yeah, me too. So many of us are walking around with masks on. I remember telling myself that I'm too naive, I'm too gullible, you know, uh, I'm not enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not skinny enough, I'm not smart enough. Well, enough is enough. I had to say that too. I'm like, no, is it enough? Goodness. And if I think that I am unworthy, I will not see the worth in taking care of myself. Come on. All right. I will be everybody's yes woman because I'm focused on pleasing. Well, in order for you to be the best person you can be, you have to give yourself permission to change that. Look, Kobe Bryant said, the greatest mistake we make in life is thinking we have time. Look, now is the time for you to be healthy and have positive beliefs. Now is the time for you to engage in self-care. Audrey Hopburn says, nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible, which says that neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord.